Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. Last night at Joe Biden's State of the Union address, he made a very important promise for Social Security beneficiaries. We'll cover that along with the House passing a new immigration bill. But before we dive into today's content, could you do me a quick favor and give this video a like? It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you're interested, there's a link in the pinned comment below where you can sign up for a Moomoo account and receive up to $10,000 in free stocks or cash. Now, let's get into the main stories of today's video. First off, during his address, Biden touched on various issues, including Ukraine and Russia, but eventually got to Social Security, where he promised to protect and strengthen the program. He made four key promises upon entering office, aiming to implement changes such as increasing taxes for high earners and adjusting benefit calculations. However, none of these promises have passed the House yet, raising questions about Biden's intentions, especially considering past statements where he suggested Social Security could be on the table for cuts. So it's uncertain whether these proposals will see the light of day before his term ends. Switching gears, the House recently passed an immigration bill named after a victim of a crime committed by an illegal immigrant. The bill aims to detain any migrant arrested for burglary or theft and expedite their deportation. Despite the tragic incident that inspired the bill, it faced opposition, highlighting the ongoing debate over immigration policies. So, what are your thoughts on these issues? Should Social Security be strengthened as Biden promised, or do you think there's a different agenda at play? And what about the immigration bill? Do you support deporting illegal immigrants who commit crimes? Or do you believe in a different approach? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Before we jump into the main content, I'll give you all those details. If you appreciate these updates, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more regarding money and social security. Now, on to the big question. Are stimulus checks dead in 2024? The answer is yes, they're essentially dead now that tax season is here. However, there could be forms of refunds or tax rebates, no longer branded as stimulus checks. As for whether Social Security beneficiaries are receiving a fourth stimulus check, the answer is also no. Despite this, many websites, social media posts, and scammer YouTube videos claim otherwise. It's important to spread the truth that there are no more stimulus checks, especially a fourth one. Instead, there are guaranteed basic income programs, but these may face challenges as well. For example, San Francisco has been sued over its guaranteed income programs, criticized as racist. Three programs exclusively target young black residents, pregnant black women, and transgender individuals who are black, indigenous, or Latino. Conservative groups argue that these programs violate laws by excluding recipients based on race and gender identity. So the question arises, are these programs racist, or should they be based solely on poverty levels? Share your thoughts below. Furthermore, Arizona Republicans have introduced a bill to ban guaranteed income programs, echoing similar efforts in other states. They argue that giving unearned payments to residents is not a wise use of tax money. However, despite the controversy, guaranteed basic income programs have shown promising results. In Minneapolis, recipients of $500 monthly payments continued to work and experienced improved financial stability. Meanwhile, in Texas and Los Angeles, pilot income programs are being implemented, offering direct payments to low-income residents. These initiatives aim to alleviate poverty and provide financial support to those in need. So, what are your thoughts on guaranteed income programs? Do you believe they are effective, or do you support efforts to ban them? Let me know your thoughts. That's all the news for today. If you need a pick-me-up, here's Bella's tip of the day. Enjoy the moments right now, and don't hesitate to pursue what you want. Seize the opportunities now, as they may not come again. And if you're curious about who's receiving $22,000 checks on Social Security, check out the video above for more details and updates. Take care, be safe, and thank you for watching.